Scranton, Pennsylvania. Due to the plentiful supply of coal for fuel back in the mid-1800s, Scranton was home to a set of blast furnaces and, and the company, steel mill. The blast furnaces were housed in a large stone structure built into the hillside, while the adjacent steel mill was built primarily of wood. Access to the furnaces was through large portals in the front of the structure. While smoke and fumes were exhausted through large openings in the top, during these years, the country was experiencing a frenzy of railroad construction, and one of the primary products of the steel mill was the fabrication of steel rail. Much of the trackage that railroads of that era ran on was built from Scranton steel. This facility lasted until the early 1900s, but today, all that's left is the ruins of the stone furnaces. The rails that came from this plant are also long gone. Larger and heavier locomotives and rolling stock required much heavier rail than this plant could ever produce. So, like so many railroads that no longer exist, the Scranton blast furnaces that helped bring many of these railroads into existence are also gone. Gone, perhaps, but not forgotten, for they were one of the things that helped make America.